day. Hope you're doing well. Wait till a couple people get joined in here till we officially start up. But hope you guys are doing good. See if it kicks in here live for everybody. I know where I'm watching it, it waits waiting to be kicked in too. What's up, Grom? There it goes. Finally getting everybody in there. All right. We get everybody in there yet? Let's see. I heard there was a special request for bug outs today. What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. What's happening? Hope you're doing good. I jumped into the chat there for a little bit. Awesome to see so many people there. Um, wow, where do we start? Um, as you can see, we had a special request for bug outs, so there's some bug outs for you. <laughs> I heard there was a special request for those. You ask, we'll get it out there, right? That's the Q&A portion. Like, got bug outs? Yep, bug outs. Here you go. Bam. Yeah, exactly, right? Now, you can't do bug outs. So let's let's swap one out. Um, let's take this one away since, you know, it's, it's an older model. We'll put bug outs out there. Oh, so VV button lock elementum. Yeah, right. All right, I'm going to go back through the chat here. We have some people that jumped in early, some Zach's Daily Carry Crew members. Thank you, Eggs and Ham. Ethan ruins EDC. CK is here. Big Red EDC. My guy working the board today. Penny Ripples here. Man, it's so awesome to see you guys jumping out so early or I should say so late on your Sunday, middle of the day, the afternoon here on the West Coast. All sorts of other people here today. Let me see if I can get through them. Quentin Sales is here, the Wallabies here, Orange Hat Outdoors is here, Grom is here, Destroyer, STP is here, Lisa's here, what's up Lisa, William Lenderman's here, Mike S is here, Grim Reaper's here, oh man, where do we go? Sue Chicken's here, Grom is here. Who else do we got here? Luke is here. What's up, Luke? Nice Fast is here. Scott Bond is here. See the Mansky. Man, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, See the Mansky, for being here. Uh, Orange Hat Outdoors. Corey Lucas. NLKG. Let's see. Joseph is here. What's up, Joseph? Chad is here. G Man W is here. Chad is here. What's up, Chad? Yeah, James Martinez, KJ Pearson. What's up, you guys? Anthony's here. Just wanna, hey, Randy F is here. Oh, Randy, awesome. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Hey, Rodney Pearson's here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Now, as you guys have seen in the past, uh, I've done some mail calls and things like that. Yeah, there's a link right there. What's up, JJ? Chris Wolf is here, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, Joshua Wilson's here, Tristan Dowd's here, Slick is here, I Love Knives is here, Ben Lee is here. Yeah, it's moving fast, man. Appreciate that. But no, there's a link right there, Big Red EDC put up. It's If you want to be a member, you want to support the channel, you want to see this continuing, you want to see the awesome giveaways like the one that ends tomorrow night, my 7,500 subscriber giveaway, whoa, check that out. You know, we're giving away... Just so you know, I'm giving away two of these bad boys. They are they were exclusive Griptilians in gray and black, partially serrated. So we're giving away two prize packs with those. And we're giving away the top prize pack of a custom built bench made. So you get to choose your choosing of something from the bench made custom knife shop. So, anyways, so that's the top prize. Along with the swag. You can't go wrong. Get the Zach Stuff swag. Get the DSKSF holographic. You get my patch going on. I'm throwing in some Big Red Saturday Knife Live stuff. So that'll be awesome. 
That'll be good stuff. Yeah, exactly, Luke. People know people know what they want, you know? People sit there, let's see here. Let me just do a quick little hey hey. Now here's two options that you could do. What's up, Drew Estes? Drew, welcome back, buddy. Drew, I got your email too. So we'll be chatting about that later today. So yeah, SKL in the house, definitely. Big Red had his 100th episode last night, did a fantastic giveaway. What's up, Max? On your lunch break, what's going down, buddy? This is the Benchmade Mini Crooked River. Blue and black accents all around. Fantastic. 20 CV coated blade. This is one that you can build in the custom knife shop. So that's just one. Let's say you're a bug out fan like Ethan Ruins EDC. You could drop it right on top of your gold class, but you could build your own G10 version of blue and black. And you could pick your blade steel. So they don't have the uh, Damascus yet. Hoping that'll come out, but you never know. Boom, right? Right on top of the gold class one. So anyways, I'm excited for that. I hope you guys are too. I've seen a lot of you guys post on there. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm dropping things, buddy. I'm just so excited about that giveaway. Ends tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you get in on it. Definitely means a, lot, means a lot to me. What's up, Corey Lucas? Yeah, gold class, still, it's okay. It's okay. It's still okay. It's, it's, it's still together. It's still operational. Works just fine. We're good. We're good. We're solid. We're just going to move a whole bunch of stuff around here. No, I'm just kidding. Those should be good. Uh, okay. Yeah. What's up, Mikey Rast? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew? All right. Yes, Ethan has his giveaway going. We got that going. We got that covered. Check out Ethan Ruins EDC. Got his channel. He's got a giveaway going as well. Uh, just ordered the 10 pack of micro Weeha bits. Oh, you stripped out your other one. Oh man. Yeah, buddy. There, those are good bits. I'm glad you ordered those. It's a solid, solid group of bits. They'll take care of you. Oh, thanks big red. So yeah, Chad, answer your question. There's a link right there. That's my 7,500 subscriber giveaway. Um, it's on my channel. So Go take a take a look at it. Give it a watch. What's up, Richard Hendershoot is here or shot? Sorry, Hendershot. I always want to say shoot when I see that. Richard Hendershot, another member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you have some Aramis scales coming for your PM2. Gold, Damascus, carbon fiber. Oh, those will look good. Yeah, we're at seven, you know, we're at 7.8 thousand, you know, we're creeping up towards 10. I got some awesome things planned for 10,000. Um, you never know. I mean, you've seen my 7,500. So we're going to we're gonna try to top that. You know, I've been reaching out to some manufacturers. Going good. Oh, what's up, George French? Let's give some love to George, man. Thanks for joining the crew, man. Another member, a new member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so much, buddy. Kark said, did your Medford come? No, I haven't had the chance to order it yet. Uh, I'm still a couple dollars short, so probably when I get paid next week, I'll have that little bit extra money from my other job uh, to pay for that. Um, you know, we, like I said, I put I put my money that you guys support my channel right back into here. So what you guys support with, I put it right back in, especially this week. Now this week, you know, I was kind of contemplating on the giveaway stuff. So you're gonna have to stick around and find out what goes in there because... I'm pretty excited for what I chose. I mean, we got an epic giveaway going tomorrow, I think, with some with some awesome bench maids and a custom that you can build yourself. And then on top of that, we even we're doing another giveaway today in about an hour. So uh, let's see. Nice fast says I'm still ready to pull the trigger on the MBK OG when they release soon. There you go. Monterey Bay knives, some great ones. What's up, Morgan? Morgan Dunn's here, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Nathan got the Olera Bits Kit. Okay, nice. Anytime you can get those bits, man, ordered up. Some Weehaw, some good brands. It's really good. You know, I, I found that the ones I use the most, I end up, you know, I don't know. We should be able to see on this one. See if we can get it focused. 
you can see the very, very ends start to just turn a slightly. So that's good. Uh, let's see, we got a question from Destroyer STP. Do you only use this YouTube to buy knives or do you use personal money as well? Uh, personal questions are allowed. Yep, totally. Yeah, if I don't feel comfortable watching or answering them, then I'll just let you know. But yeah, so I have, as I've uh, said before in the past, I have two jobs. I have a full-time job, part-time job. My part-time job I use as like, you know, my extra money to buy knives and stuff like that. The, the knives that you see for giveaways on here, that's from your support. So, you know, like my 7,500 subscriber giveaway, I put aside some money um, for a few months to definitely make that happen. And the new ones you see, like this one right here, this just came out, it's the mini bug out, the 535BK-2. Um, this one is good to go, right? And this is one, what's up Hollywood Tactical? JJ, what's up, what's up? Got the iFixit kit. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a nice kit too. Um, this is that mini version of the all blacked out one. You know, I bought this with my own money. So I use that um, and go from there. So that's kind of how I manage what I purchase and who I purchase it for. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I have over 300 Benchmades and I'm going to start paring those down because I want to make some purchases like that, uh, that Gentleman Jack. I'm really interested in getting one of those. Um, I recently bought a um, Neutron 2, which is was fantastic from TRM. Um, so those are things that, you know, I use my own money to purchase these. Um, and I think you guys are going to be interested to see the review coming up on this one. And I do get a few things sent out as part of our pass around group. And when that happens or from the manufacturer, I let you know right at the beginning of the video. Um, you know, I've had some really generous people on here that have just sent me knives to check out. Um, and it's, it's amazing. You know, people always definitely, you know, take care of people and people helping people, you know, doing something kind for someone, right? Doing something kind for someone, <laughs> do something kind for someone. That's my motto every day. So it's good. That's what I try to do. So hopefully that answered that question. Um, yeah, do we got everybody, is that carbon fiber on the gold class? Yes, yeah, so this is the gold class uh, from 2019. This was the Benchmade bug out. It's got kind of a, uh, a, a contoured carbon fiber a little bit. And then it's got a C-Tech inlay. Oh, big red right there. Now, if you're interested in those neutrons or anything from TRM, definitely check out that link right there and um, go to their frequently asked questions, the FQs, um, uh, FAQs, and definitely look at what is going to be up next. They're doing a pretty good deal where they're letting you know, like, hey, you know, this date in December, this date in January, in February, we're, uh, we're releasing these products, all these other things. Um, they're pretty active, um, looks like on Reddit and over on Facebook, I know too, so. Uh, yeah, so let's see where we at here. Yes, Evil E, your birthday present is in the mail. I know. Yeah, there was some shipping stuff where um, I, I do it in blocks. So I apologize. It doesn't it doesn't ship like within the same week normally. I usually wait for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I ship them all in blocks because what happens is is I get a lot of stuff that's ready to go. But then there's other things that I need to ship insured. Like if you guys checked out that beautiful, beautiful Serge Penchenko slip joint that uh, Chad loaned me um, from Southern Edge Knife Works, that's out of his personal collection. And, you know, I want to make sure that was insured and made it back to him, which it did. So I have to wait for time to be able to go into the post office. So I have to wait till I get a day off till I can go in because I work before they open and after they close. So yeah, hit that like button. Chris Wolf is here. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. That's so awesome. Mikey Rass says, I'm going to send my AD10, AD15 back to Knife Center. Got them back from warranty and started carrying them. They are awesome. But they just don't get enough pocket time to be justified. There you go. At least you're able to check them out, you know. Oh, I know, Evilly. I just want to let you know and everybody else, like, you know, my I have a big shipping day coming up um, this week, and that's Tuesday. 
So I have some time set out Tuesday to get everything mailed back to people. Um, I have a lot of stuff, things that people have loaned me, you know, giveaway things, uh, swag packs, those kind of things. George French, thank you for becoming a member today. Make sure to hit me up, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. And then that way I can, um, I want to send you just a little bit of swag. So let's see here. I think I can get it in here. Get it typed in there for them. She can shoot me an email. We'll get it all dialed in. Um, let's see. Chad was going to win the mega million, but you're going to just buy the whole company. That'd be cool. What's up, James Martinez? Michael Morgan's here. What's up, what's up? Luke said he just sold a tactile turn and used my last Zach Stuff sticker. Oh, yeah. Well, send me, send me an email, Luke. We'll have to definitely take care of that. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing. Like, a way to try knives is to find a local dealer for you. I have... Thanks, George. I have a, you know, I have a problem being in the Portland area where we have a lot of knife dealers. We have a lot of knife manufacturers, but it's one of those, like, it's hard to, especially with everything going on to have, there's not too much open where you can go in and buy stuff or look at stuff. So we have a few, um, you know, I, I was really, really blessed to have Friday off and sorry, get drink water. And you know, I really took some time to go visit with a good friend of mine and it was cool because we were able to just check out, walk around Cabela's, get caught up, talk about life, doing all that. And yeah, that's right, Evilly. But it was really cool. So it was fun to, to visit and I appreciate my buddy Big Red taking some time out of his day to, to drive down and meet with me. Morgan... I know, buddy. I got to go do that. No tea yet today. Kind of bummed out. We had to go to one of these, you know, it was kind of time to do a visit and get caught up on shopping this week. So we had to go visit one of these really big box stores that sells like, you know, 10 pounds of macaroni in one box. So you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But we uh, we went and did that this morning. So had to skip the had to skip the tea for now. Yeah, that's right, Luke. Yeah, it was fun. It was good stuff. So, oh, you got a six hour drive to Knife Center. Smoky Mountain's only four. But, uh, okay, Southern Edge Knife Works only two hours away. There you go. And that'd be kind of cool, you know? I want to find, or, you know, I know there's a few up here, quite a few, but it's a lot of people operating out of, like, you know, their home office or things like that. Oh, man. Thanks, Big Red. Big Red says, for the next run. Oh, thanks, man. I'll use that this afternoon for sure. As soon as I'm done here, man, that's my goal. So, what we now I talked about last week on the live. And, yeah, Libertarian's here. What's up, Libertarian? Yeah, we, we started talking about all the planning for our big road trip. So we're getting some things worked out and uh, we're, we're, we're getting that going. So we're, we're getting it penciled out. We'll see how things go this year when, when you know, things start popping up. We're hoping that uh, Blade Show goes how it is. And then uh, we'll kind of make some plans from there. Um, let's see. Don C, welcome, welcome. Says, took apart my Stormtrooper. To add the carbon fiber backspacer, now it's sticky. Try my best not to clean any of it. Um, try it. Where is it sticky at? Is it sticky in the access lock? Is that where it's sticky? Um, one of the biggest things would be um, retaking apart, you know, the scales or just loosening all the screws and then putting it back together in a different direction. I've tried that before and it's worked well. Um, I've also, you know, on that axis lock, just a little dab of this stuff works great. Okay. So lock stick, uh, mechanical pencil, number two pencil, or a little bit of this. So 
Oh, you met. Oh, Paul's here. What's up, Paul? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Got to meet Leong Ma yesterday. Awesome. See, that's the stuff that I miss out, man. That's so cool. Uh, do I own the Boker Desert Storm Kalashnikov? No, or Desert, sorry. No, I do not. I did not uh, jump onto that craze. I just don't know if I would carry it, you know what I mean? Yeah, buddy, Max, that's where we were at. Blade HQ's an hour from you, but the close of the public. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, and that's, you know, the cool part is, like, Benchmade, being so close, um, they're, they're open by appointment only. And then it's very restrictive on the appointments. And then, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good. I've been able to get some appointments, not a problem, just like a lot of people around here have. But it's easier to just, you can go drop stuff off, pick stuff up out front, like curbside pickup, I guess. How many bug outs do I have? That's a really good question. Um, we got four on the table. We got two others on the side. We have four others in the tray. We have a bag full of bug outs here. Let's see how many are in here. I don't know if we can show all this, but we got bug outs, bug outs, bug outs, bug outs, bug outs, more bug outs. Um, I'd probably say, let me see here, here, three, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, plus these, that, I'd say probably 30 or more bug outs. Um, you know, if you count like repetitive ones, probably close to 40. You know, a lot of them are for different builds and things like that. Nope, you're not gonna see anything that you shouldn't on this on this stream. Trust me, I really want to show you something that's that I can't. But I was able to put it in Big Red's hand. Um and the the mini Adamas, you guys. And then the new work, the contoured work on the new full size Adamas. A little bit slimmed down. You guys are gonna love it. So yeah, Quentin, uh, that's something I'm working on is to do a, a collection video, but I think it's going to have to be a, a series. You know, I think I'll do like a bug out series, a 940 Osborne series, um, do some stuff like that. So <laughs> Randy, that's funny. Yeah, exactly. Big red. Yeah. The mini Adamas all the way. So yeah, it is my, it is my Michael Morgan and <laughs> welcome buddy. It is my bug out bag, literally a bag of bug outs. And that's why I did it. And I'm looking for, I can't find, I've been looking for a patch that says like, you know, something cool about bugging out or bug out bag or something. And I was going to stick that right on the front of this one right here. I was going to stick it right on the front. Cause that's what all my bug outs are in. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, NDAs. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. But, you know, that's the cool part. And I have to tell you guys that, uh, you know, there's some there's some cool stuff coming on the horizon from Benchmade. You guys have seen the catalog. Um, hopefully you saw the video. If not, um, I know this is something that Big Red spent a lot of time putting together was kind of a, a knife chat, channel chat, sorry, a channel chat with um, like four or five different channels and we had a special guest on there russell from artisan cutlery cjrb so yeah so that's pretty cool so that's that's good stuff so if you haven't seen that he'll, i'm hopefully he'll put a link up here in a minute to that and we'll go from there so yeah that's good stuff buddy but anyways it was it was fun i really i'm just gonna put this out there Oh, you found uh, customizable moly Velcro, Velcro patches on Amazon? Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out. What I want to say, though, is, like, seriously, and this is for me, and I don't, Big Red can probably speak to it as well, but it was nice to literally, like, take a drive, go visit with somebody that you haven't seen in a while, and literally just go out and, like, walk around, not have any sort of time frame for the day, and just, like, chat. You know, I mean, we ate lunch on a tailgate um, and then sat in our perspective vehicles and talked. So we maintain our distancing and all that good stuff just because, you know, we wanted to do that. 
and it was it had a friggin' cold, cold wind going on. It was sunny, but it was really cold. So, yeah, there's the 2021 channel chat release video, and it's it's a little bit longer, but I just want to tell you, that's really really cool stuff. So check it out. Um, even if you have to watch it in a couple different parts, definitely do that because. You guys will like what's happening with it. It's pretty cool stuff. And there's some really, there's some spoilers in there too. I was kind of surprised, uh, you know, Russell shared some pretty neat stuff with us and you get people's perspective on things that are happening and it's kind of, it's kind of really, really cool to see. So, um, I would encourage you to check it out and I would encourage you to ask some questions with the different channels that are in there and, uh, see how it's going. Okay, what's up? Uh, Quentin's here. David Payne, what's going on, buddy? Uh, tailgating, yes, definitely, yes, indeed. Um, let's see here. Slicey Dicey said to put his sticker on a ship. Yeah, he, I don't know, man. Maybe they'll follow up with that. They start tracking people down. But yeah, you know, uh, I, I do not encourage any sort of uh, graffiti or vandalism, but you know, if there's an area that has stickers and needs some more, then yeah, let's put some more stickers on there. Yeah, a proper mod clip would be cool. Uh, Mikey Rast said this may be too personal, but at what point would you start putting insurance on things? I've probably got two to two and a half in gear and just wondering how that works and what's jumping off point. Uh, so yeah, so good question. Um, oh, you t checked out the chat. Okay, very cool, Randy. Uh, Michael, I see your question. I'll answer that in just one second here. So to answer your question on insurance, yes, if you have a knife collection or a gear collection or things like that, I would highly encourage you to definitely, definitely um, talk to whoever you know has your insurance policy, uh, homeowners, renters insurance, whatever, and talk to them and just say, hey, here's what I have. Would it cover these things if something happened? Um, I did that. My insurance guy loves me because he was able to reevaluate my policy and of course, you know, charge me more money. So, uh, it worked out really well for him, but for my collection, that's what I have to do. So, uh, yeah. So Michael's got a question about Hogue. Let's see here. What's up monster racing. How's it going, buddy? Uh, Michael Morgan says, do you think Hogue does a better access lock? You know, I think they've refined it, you know? Um, I think they've done, a lot of work around the actual product. You know, I think they've, they've found a way to not have lock stick on coated ones. Um, you know, and it, it may be some extra finishing work that they do. And, you know, it sounds like they're using, um, a, a, a well-known spring company here in the U S to provide their Omega Springs as well. So I, I appreciate and enjoy the able lock uh, a B L E is what, you know, able lock. Um, but yes, I would say that they have a really, really good access lock, you know? Um, but I don't know if I would call it better than the regular access lock. You know, I would say it just really depends on the knife, you know, um, certain ones like the, the, the ones on the bug outs, I think they work good, but they've had some problems with that stickiness, you know? You get into some of the other ones, like on this Mini Presidio 2 in CF Elite, and this axis lock is solid, you know, uh, coated blade or not. You know, it's just, it operates perfect. So I know it's not the best answer to the question, um, but I think Hogue does a good job at it, you know. They did some good work on it. What's up, Jersey Knife Guy? Huge shout out to my Jersey Knife Guy. And yes, the Mini... Adamus is going to be a standard run knife from them. And I think you definitely need to get one because it is fantastic. It should be on the channel very, very soon. I'm trying to get an update to see if I can show it and share it with you guys next week. So hopefully you can do that live gaming one, two, three, what's happening. So hopefully we'll get that going, but yeah, huge shout out to my guy, Jersey knife guy. We'll show Jersey knife guy a little love here. This is for Jersey Knife Guy. Been a supporter of the channel for a long time. Appreciate you, man. 
Um, let's see here. KJ says the coated blade lock combo. Sog Aegis has none of the problems I've had with the coated benchmates. Been surprised. Yeah, it really comes down to, you know, how they're putting it all together. David Payne says, waiting on my CF Neutron to come in the mail. Yeah, buddy. This is the CF Neutron that he linked there before. This is the Neutron 2. Woo. The Neutron 2, buddy. This is a fantastic slicer, so that's good stuff. So let's swap out a couple of these knives. Let's get rid of the uh, original bug out. Let's get rid of the uh, Stormtrooper. Put that off to the side. We'll put the mini up here. Put the gold class off. Uh, we had a question about the mini Crooked River. So let's get a mini Crooked River. So I like the mini Crooked River. You're looking at full liners on these. And for me, I mean, large glove size hand, the, the whole knife locks right in. Um, oh, really, eggs and ham. Okay. <laughs> That's been crazy, man. I was watching that before I uh, got on here. So um, I like the mini Crooked River. I think it's a solid built knife. I think you'll have no problems with it. And, you know, if you like the wood version or the G10 version they offer, it's gonna, you're going to get into it a little bit cheaper than a custom one, but then you can always build a custom one how you want it. Different colors, different scales, whatever. Uh, JJ, welcome. Says, uh, lucky enough to get a Neutron 2 last run. Great little knife. Yes, definitely. I definitely support that statement 100%. Um, let's see here. The Sarah coating is always a really good uh, coating for them over like the nitride coating and stuff. So... Oh, Joshua Wilson says, got, got me hooked on Long Island Knife Guys stuff. Yeah, he's got some good offerings. You know what I mean? Um, I won that beautiful um, CRK from him, the 31. So that was amazing. So uh, let's see. Benchman needs to countersink their screws on the deep carry clips. Tell your people. <laughs> I think you'll see some stuff coming up, you know, that's, that's they're listening. You know, so on designs, they're listening. And I, I understand what you're saying on the deep carry clips there. Um, I think they're listening. So you'll see you'll see some updated stuff going on. Kind of that uh, CQI stuff. Oh, David says he ordered a ZT0450, 0450. Yeah, those are nice. I have one of those in titanium, and it's fantastic. Um, Mark Grant's here. What's up, Mark? Another member of Zach's Day the Carry Crew. Calder and Fitzpatrick's here. Got some stuff going on. Right on, right on. All right, Max. Thanks for joining us on your lunch, buddy. Have a great rest of your day. Andrew Arnold's here. What's up? He's got an Adam. He won it from Slicey. Now he wants a Neutron. Yeah, exactly. They're great for, they'd be great for office. They're not as big. It's perfect. So what's my heaviest knife? That's a fantastic question. Um, right now, I think my heaviest knife that I own, pocket knife, not fixed blade, just pocket knife, is um, the full size Adamus. The turret's pretty well up there, but the full size Adamus beats it by just a little bit. So that's pretty good. Uh, nice Fast says, How is your 0707 from CT? It is great. Thank you, Nice Fast. Um, I'm going to open that up here. Uh, you'll see that opening up here coming up on a mail call video. But yeah, it's great. I love that knife. So I'm glad I purchased it. Uh, thanks, Live Gaming 123 Yeah, I'm just, you know, I want to I want to continue to build the channel, give back to you guys. Like I said before, you know, those who support the channel, members of the channel, I like to send you guys out, you know, a swag pack for your support just to say thank you, um, because it really, it really helps, you know, um, CK says smash the like button, um, let's see here, oh, Monster, you're that close to the stadium, huh, wow, that's cool, hey, Tim Cook's here, what's up, buddy, oh, you're at work, right on, all right, we won't say anything, <laughs> no, that's good, yeah, Randy, the, the mini Adamas is, is definitely promising, so, I, I have to tell you this. Um, what's up, Rip City EDC? Welcome, welcome. 
I would say definitely, definitely check it out. Um, Orange Hat says, what's the, Orange Hat Outdoors says, what's the best blade steel Benchmade uses? That's really user specific. You know, I think it, it really depends, you know, it depends on the knife. I mean, if you're talking like everyday carry use, you know, um, they, they dabbled around a little bit in S45. Now we got crew wear coming out on the Adamas line. Um, you know, I know S30V was something everybody was, you know, wanting for the longest time. They upgraded all their 154 CM products to, or the CPM 154 to um, S30V. So, you know, now everybody's looking at S35, those kind of things. You know, they put S90V on a lot of stuff, has great edge retention, as the Wallaby just said. And that's one of those things that kind of comes down to the user. But just like these customs, that's the best part. You know, you can get this in S30V. You know, you can get, uh, where did that other one go? Hold on here. Did it jump away from me? It left the building. No. Um, you know, you can get, you can order this one in a 20 CV, you know, same knife, just different blade steel. They look the same. They act way different. Um, and to answer a question I saw earlier on there, it is, um, how many custom knives do I have from the custom knife builder? I'd probably say about a dozen between all the ones I've ordered so far from there. So yeah, sounds good. Live gaming. Uh, enjoy, um, take care, visit with your dad. Definitely. It's important. Uh, I'll be streaming prior for the next hour. We're going to try to do a giveaway around just after the top of the hour. So that's the goal for that. KJ got a drunk in an S 90 V looking forward to giving it a good run. Nice. Yeah, it, it, it really, there's really a lot of options on their knife builder. Um, and that's just kind of how it goes. How many customs do I have? Not just Benchmade Custom Shop. Uh, Joshua Wilson said, uh, customs overall, I mean, if you start counting fixed blades and other stuff like that, um, probably 20, maybe 20 customs. Oh, JJ, thanks, buddy. Uh, thanks for the support, man. Let's give a little love to JJ. S90V is their favorite to use match with carbon fiber. I, I would have to say it's one of the best, you know. And you see that put out there. Give a little love for JJ out there. Thank you very much, JJ. Favorite lock type. Um, I'm a fan of the axis lock. I'm not a fan of, you know, putting my finger or thumb or anything in the path travel of the blade. Um, you know, the back lock that you see on some of the things like the spider coes, you know, it's okay. You know, but when I'm using the knife, I have to like totally change my grip to, you know, almost a pinch grip to get it to close. Um, this is on the pair of three. So I, I'm not like, I don't know. I just have to change it so much that it's like, you know, it's just really easy to just have a knife and then just flip it closed. Um, but personal preference, axis lock, been using it for 20 years or more. That's my favorite lock type so far. What's up? Lorenzo is here. What's up, Lorenzo? Another member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Have you tried a shaman? I have not tried a shaman. Um, I did I get one in? Let me look. No, that was the Manix two. No, I didn't get a shaman in at all. So I'll have to try. I'll have to try one of those out. If you guys think that's a that's a good one. Let's just be evil. Zach's favorite bench made. My favorite bench made of all. Um, I would say. Now, are we talking like what model of my favorite? Because, yeah, Eggs and Ham said 940. 940 is my favorite favorite. I mean, I'm even carrying the mini today. Or are you talking about like of the 940s, which is my favorite? Because that's probably going to be like what it comes down to. Yeah, bug out's up there, but the 940s is where it's at right now. Um, let's see here. 
KJ said favorite single one. Um, Michael, I see your question. I'll answer it in just a second here. Probably, okay, I'm getting out a little tray of knives I have off to the side here. Now, I have two for that answer, and here's why. And you guys have probably heard this, but I have my original from 20 years ago. You know, first production, eight of a thousand. It's been sharpened way too much. As you can see, the serrations are longer in the tooth than the blade. So that's my original, and that's my favorite from back in the day. Um, man, which one do I choose out of these 940s as my favorite favorite? Probably the one that I go to the most and I carry the most. Man. Okay, I'll have to do it. If I'm picking one today, it'll probably change tomorrow, but this one right here, the Smoky Mountain Knife Works Edition, red resin, carbon fiber, contoured, S or no, this is M390, red accents. I'm not sure why they do red barrel spacers. They did smoky gray ones, but this is probably the one I go to the most. Yeah, Rodney said international or smoky mountain. So this is the one I go to the most right here. So I would say that's probably my favorite, favorite one right now. Um, let's see. Michael had a question back here. Most expensive knife you've ever lost. Um, I lost a custom knife shop bench made, which was about 350, 400 bucks. So that's the most expensive one I've lost so far. A bummer deal. Uh, David Penn says ordered a CRK Sabenza 31 with box elder inlays directly from them. It's going to be a while for a give it. Oh, that's going to be a nice looking one. Uh, let's see here. Quentin says a good fixed blade for everything. Depends on your price range, you know. Um, the new Luku that came out from Benchmade, it's a little bit bigger than the Puko. So you're going to get a lot more use out of it, especially when you're doing, you know, some work to get your campfire going or other things. Um, but, you know, even just a Mora, you know, you, you know, you're looking at a hundred bucks, huh? Okay, a hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, a good hundred dollar fixed blade. Shoot, your options are wide open. I would say try to order something from Ryan Pearson. Get a custom one. You can get it exactly how you want, <laughs> you know? Um, that would be my option. If I, you know, if I'm looking at that, it's like, I would start talking to him and be like, Hey, you know, I mean, you could definitely go with a, a lot of different Moras. They have a lot of fixed blades. You lost a Randall stag. Oh, in the lake. Oh yeah. SC makes some good ones too. So yeah, I would just say shop around for kind of the length of knife you're looking for and one that you wouldn't mind, um, you know, doing some damage to. So yeah. Uh, let's see here. Randy says, I would have liked to have seen a gold class 943 for a farewell. Yeah, it would be cool to see that. Um, Luke says, Zach, when I get my Irma scales in, maybe I can send you a Spyderco luxury pack. Review. Oh, man. That'd be cool. Yeah, I've looked at those and I'm thinking about it. Oh, somebody picked it off, huh? Bummer. Um, what's up, Klaus? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Bunzo's here. What's up, Bunzo? Bunzo Reviews is here. Says, what are your thoughts on a fixed blade 940 uh, or a fixed blade bug out? I have some files to grind into knives and thought grinding one out into a bench may be cool. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. I mean, they're really thin. You know, uh, uh, this would be a pretty thin fixed blade. You know, um, but I guess it, it would, you know, it would carry well. But yeah, they did make that new one, huh? That SE. Didn't SE come out with that really new thin one this year? I think that was them. Because they showed it on Smoky Mountains video. But, I mean, a bug out would be more, I guess, traditional to size as a fixed blade. You know, in comparison. You get a little bit uh, wider of a blade for cutting. But, yeah. Need to get a fixed blade for the Navy. Yeah, I would go with something that's a little bit, you know, a little bit smaller. 
than a full size one, definitely. Um, let's see here. Got some football updates. Nice. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Let's see here. How about some more questions on bench maids that you want to see? Yeah, the Puko's good. I mean, we put a lot of damage on a Puko before. And it took it like a champ. Yeah, SC's got a good warranty. Yeah, definitely. Timothy Williams, what's up, buddy? A Bradford Guardian 3, there you go. Says, are you thinking of the Zancudo? I'm not sure yet. Ethan said the Butterfly Benchmade Knife. Can't go wrong with Bark River. More a cork knife in case you drop it. There you go, it floats. Found an Osborne 940 BLK 2003. Oh yeah, that's a great looking knife. This one right here. That's a beauty. Yeah, a freaking crew, a super freaking crewer would be awesome. Do I own a Benchmade triage? I do. I do have a Benchmade triage. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty fabulous knife. K20 EP1s here. What's up? What's up? Yeah, the new the new bug outs are pretty cool looking. And I'll have to tell you, I really like both of them. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, it's it's like aluminum scales, but they're actually contoured a little bit. They have some milling in them so that the grip is a lot better. I like that. Well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. What's up, Deadpool? Welcome, welcome. Alex's knife box is here. What's going down? Is there a benchmate I don't have? Yeah, there's always a benchmate I don't have. You know, I look at, um, I look at every knife that comes out, and you know, honestly, I you know, I'm, I'm gonna want to review it and to see whether it's good or not. There's also benchmates that I've passed on, you know, and um. You know, and I just, I've never, I've looked at some and I'm like, mm, I'll pass. And then they discontinue them. Um, thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate it. And that's one of those where it's like, I guess, you know, kind of the focus of my collection, you know, it's like, it's like this, this knife right here. A lot of people don't have this one. I never reviewed it. Um, it's the Benchmade Aileron. You know, it's Tarani design. Uh, it's a thinner contoured handle. You got a big, thicker blade. You have this grip up here. Um, yeah, exactly. It's exactly Lorenzo. It's hard to have just one, but you know, you start trying one of these out and you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, it's a good cutter, but it's designed for certain tasks, you know? So if it's something that I'm not going to carry, then I'll try to just like, see if I can get one on loan from someone, um, see if I can borrow it, you know, and then return it to somebody. And yeah, the aileron's nice. I like it, you know. Uh, but it was just one of those that it didn't really catch. What's up, Freddie? Welcome, Corey. What's happening? Uh, Corey said just picked up a used mini onslaught. What discontinued benchmade would you like to see brought back? I honestly would like to see the nine forty three brought back, kind of redesigned. You know, maybe some different options, um, in handles, blade steel, things like that. Uh, Klaus says. I uh, was carrying my 940 2001 today. Nice, right on. Then Mini Osborne's next on your purchase list. Yeah, Junior Miz. Yeah, definitely. What's up, OSK? Chris Rayner, what's up? Welcome. Yeah, that's one of those where it's like, you know, honestly, and you guys have probably heard this from me, that I carry this over the Mini Bug Out. Yeah, put the 943 in the custom shop. That'd be cool. But I think, honestly, you know, it, it comes down to... You know, you put something in the custom shop, you got to have a lot of parts for it. You know, I think the holidays blew out a lot of stuff in the custom knife builder. You know, people were ordering stuff like crazy, uh, which is awesome. You know, but even to just put one model in there, you got to have thousands and thousands of parts available just on the ready. Because as soon as they launch it, bam, you know, you're going to have some orders and you got to build some knives. So, 
Can you? So Michael Morgan says, can you get to a factory and help build your own Benchmade? Um, like just me personally. I mean, you know, they they've done some contests where people have built their own Benchmades in in their store. So that's that's or in their factory. That's kind of cool. Uh, live gaming one two three. Welcome back. He says, uh, "Hey Zach, I know it's probably a simple thing to do." Um, but how do I get the channel member green name? It's probably a simple thing, but I've never been here for a few days on your channel. Oh yeah. So, um, if you go right down next to the subscribe button, um, on my video and in the description, there should be a link to join Zach's daily carry crew. And that's how you get a membership button. Um, it's, uh, it's a, it's a small monthly fee to support the channel. And then you get to have access to the custom emojis and you get early access to certain things. There'll be some stuff posting today for members, which is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, Lorenzo, certain things have to be set up for the factory for specific knives when they make them. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of cool. And welcome, Keith. Hey, hey, what's up, Keith? Welcome, welcome. Keefer's here, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, Evil E says, who makes the best auto? Man, I'll tell you what, um, I, I I would say between the 9400, the Auto 940, and a ProTech, those are some pretty dang good autos. Um, yeah, Kalashnikov. I don't think I would put that up there, but I've seen a couple of them break, so that's why. But I would say, you know, between the the snappiness and the action of those ProTechs and that new Benchmade 9400... That's a that's a good run right there. So Benchmade's been making autos for a long time with the Infidels and those kind of things. I know Microtech has some good ones as well. Um, do you have the 9400 or Mediator? I almost bought a 9400. Yeah, I have the 9400. Uh, I think it's in this other bag here. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's get the 9400 out. Show a little auto love. Choo -choo. And I heard somebody talking about um, ordering a mini, ordering a mini in Jade from the Custom Knife Builder. That's kind of what you're gonna get if you order one. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. I know somebody in the in the live stream here has one as well on the way. So that's kind of cool. An Auto Dolica. That would be fabulous. So yeah, so here's the 9400 from Benchmade. And uh, good question, Drew. Drew. Drew Estes, welcome, buddy. I know I talked to you earlier on here, uh, but good to see you again. And uh, I'm glad you're here, man. I am. And he says, would you rather have the 9400 or the Mediator? Me personally, it's tough. I mean, look at that snap. That's crazy. What's up, Peter? <laughs> Peter's here from a therapeutic edge. Give a little shout out to Peter, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, for me, it was a tough deal because here's the thing. I love the 9400, the design. It's classic 940. What I would love to see is a G10 version of the 9400. Um, so let's move a couple of these. I want to put a couple of these on here and show you guys kind of something really good that's going on. Let's see here. Put a couple of these off to the side. Let's showcase some of these. I'm closing these up because, you know, safety first. I want to make sure that uh, that we get these on camera and nobody gets hurt. But let's look at, where'd it go here? I think the mediator made it back in my bag. Let's double check. Hey, hey, Women Carry Knives is here. Welcome, welcome. All right. Okay, so here's the mediator. Now this is that G10 scale that I wish was on the 9400, but the snap on this one isn't the same as the 9400. So this is the mediator, it's going good, but it just doesn't have that same snap that the 9400 has. So I think they did some, some more designing on this one to just kind of make it next level. So, um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Do we miss any questions back there? 
I do need to show off my Griptilian collection. Yeah, that would be a good video as well. Oh, packing and painting so you can't stay long. Okay. Well, you guys definitely check out Women Carry Knives to get a perspective on how these knives work for women and how they carry them. Um, she gives you that honest opinion. So if you're looking for a knife for a friend, family, yourself, anything like that, significant other, definitely check out Women Carry Knives. Uh, if you're looking for a, like, Pete, I love Peter from A Therapeutic Edge and his knife collection because his knives are like, his, his knife style, I guess, his knife collection style is like putting two of these 940s together, you know, to build a knife. <laughs> so I love that. Um, oh, nice, Mikey. Supper's all done. You're back. Welcome back. Uh-oh, not looking good for him. That's no good. Uh, Chicago23, send me an email, buddy. Let's see here. KJ prefers the look of the 9400, but I'd like to try both. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, like, oh, there's a link right there to Women Carry Knives. I like the feel of this mediator. I like the feel of the G10. It's got the lock on the side right here versus the lock on the top of the 9400. Um, but it just doesn't have that snap. And it's, you know, it's probably milliseconds difference between the two, but it just doesn't have that feel and strength. So... Yeah, exactly, Lorenzo. Exactly. Um, let's see. Knife Junkie has Doug Ritter, inter, Doug Ritter interview up. That's cool. Yeah, Doug's a great person to talk to, so I'll have to check that one out. Um, I've chatted with him a bunch at you know Blade Show and especially at Shot Show. Spent like an hour talking with him and his wife, and it was just great to kind of get some of his insight on things. And we talked about a few things, obviously, with both of us having some knowledge of Benchmade, him a lot more. It was kind of interesting to talk to some of his, or listen to some of his perspective on things, so. What's another budget tool compared to Weehaw? Are you talking about like um, their drivers and bits? Because the iFixit one that was mentioned earlier that somebody just picked up, that's a, that's a good kit as well. Um, and it's gonna be a, a little bit better for it, so. Do I have a CEO? Yes, I do have a CEO. I have a, uh, the one that they call Brown Micarta, which looks like red. Um, I also have a black one that I actually carry in my, in my work bag every day. And this is that weird deal that I was talking about before the, the firing out of these I'm trying to get used to, and it's harder behind camera here. Hold on. But this is the CEO in Brown Micarta it looks burgundy to me but it's kind of a cool one. I wish there was a little bit more relief here. I might have to send it in to somebody to have them do it. I think it was a good idea for them to, um, you know, put the flipper on the new model, but, oh, there you go. Big Red's even getting the iFixit tools on there. Oh, Randy, I, I definitely agree. Like, Weehaw, you're gonna get that next level quality. Um, you know, like I said, I've been using this one right here for, this, this actual bit here has done a lot of work and you can see the tips getting a little bit turned. And so on some of the really, really tough ones, I end up using a new one. What's up, Ricky Britton? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I don't even know if the VEF serrations would fit on the CEO. <laughs> it would take up the whole entire blade, I think. I don't know if he would do mini serrations or not, but... I'm sure if I I'm sure if I took that one to him and said, "Hey, put some serrations and make it wild or something," it'd be crazy. So that's good. Um, is that Burgundy McCarta exclusive from Blade HQ? Yes, Hollywood. It de it definitely was. It was an exclusive run they did for them, I believe. Yeah, we're going to give a little extra love and a shout out to Big Red. Show Big Red a little love. Thanks for all the support today. Big Red's on it. He had an awesome 100th episode of SKL last night. You can touch it up on a bench grinder. Yeah, that's true. Send it to Nathan's Knives to mod it. Yeah, I got to find somebody that can definitely mod it and put a little relief in there. 
maybe do a little more contouring on that scale just because the interesting way it flips out you know it's it's most of your knives i'm used to flipping like up and that one flips like out in the side direction so shout out to my guy big red definitely definitely so let's do a pocket check man um we haven't done a pocket check yet today so when I was shopping, I was carrying this one right here, this mini Osborne. So let me know what you guys are carrying today. Let's do pocket check. Oh, Peter. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> An auto Contigo. Oh, that'd be awesome, man. That's a good idea, buddy. All right. I'll definitely put that in my, uh, my notes from my next meeting. Definitely um let's see here so we got Klaus carrying a 940 2001 um he's carrying a real or fake pm2 one of the two spider coast shaman s30v blue denim fireside scales Ooh, this sounds good mini freak mini proponent brown micarta crkt obaki i think that's how you pronounce it just have the savivi odium and olight s2r baton 2 mini osborne benchman mini presidio 2 that i already know about that was awesome, dude. He got to go inside and check that out. That's awesome, Ethan. Grom's got the Kershaw mixtape, No Name Trapper. Uh, Paul's got a Neutron 2 and a 601 Tengu. Nice. Tengu is awesome. Off Grid Black Stallion, Azula, Nine Shoe Monster. What's up, Shoe Monster? Welcome, man. Another member of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew. We got the 940 and M4 again. Dude, I love that knife. Uh, Hinder XM24 DLT exclusive and M30 or M390 spear point. Nice, Chris. Wes is here. He's got the Benchmade bug out and Leatherman sidekick. Keith is carrying the pair three and CTS XHP. KJ's got the new Spider Code drunken. Can't remember the Victorinox model. Oh, step up from the Super Tinker. Okay. Scott Bond, what's up, buddy? Got the mini Osborne. Nice, nice. Suit Chicken. Uh, let's see. Cold. Peter's got the Cold Steel Recon one. Dude, I love his knife collection, man. He's got, he brought that stuff to Blade Show West, just a, a couple of nice rolls of knives, and it was intense, man. It was so nice to check out. Uh, Deadpool Lee's got the custom Sajulo, right on. Uh, I hope I get a Sajulo back, that's good. I saw Nick Shabazz did one that they sent him, and it still had some problems like mine had. Kind of funny. Um, you think you'd want to send Nick the best, but. Um, the Wallabies carrying his line steel B35, more Eldris. Paper Tiger, welcome. He's got the Skirmish 630. Penny, nothing in the pocket today. Okay, that's good too. A little relaxing day. Grimm's got the uh, Doug Ritter RSK. Don C's got the International Bug Out and the Oni. Um, Bunzo's got the Custom Shop Leatherman Wave. Chicago 23's got the CGRB Craig. Recoil Lock and Tornox Tinker. Evil E's got the PM2 Emerson. Randy's got the G10 M4 bug out today. Rodney, Rodney, man, I love you, man. Appreciate all your support. He's carrying the custom mini Crooked River and a bombshell. Oh, nice. Um, Michael Morgan's got the Revo Warden, got from Big Red. Benjamin Kim's got the Pair 3 K390. Johnny D's got the 943 and the 707. Eggs and Ham's got the mini Beg Letter, Red Macarta, and mini bug out Stormtrooper. Uh, James Martinez has the Benchmade Loco 818. Joshua's got the Pena X Series Trapper. Nice one. Weth has the... Oh, he's also carrying a SK, Escobar. Ooh, okay. Andrew Arnold's got the Burlap Macarta Adam. Orange Hat Outdoors. You're back. You did not miss the giveaway yet. Uh, we're doing a pocket check. Nice Fest got the Spyderco PM2 in blue. Bento Box. I like that one. That one's a cool one. The Bento Box ones are good. They're my colors. I uh, saw you guys watch that video, the GACTAC 2.0 too. Got the APB. I already took it in for a, for a spa day at Benchmade, so it's getting Life Sharp warranty stuff right now. Um, Neil's got the CVV Backlash. Junior Miz got the CRKT Squid and Kershaw Shuffle 2. Um, let's see here. Da -da -da. Anthony's got the good old 940 and Leatherman Free P4. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry, Eggs and Ham. That's a bummer. Uh, Mike Williams got the Mini Freak with AWT scales. Oh, nice. Very nice. George just got the garage cleaned up. Nice, buddy. That's always a good feeling. Appreciate you coming back. T 
Tim Cook's got the full-size brass proponent. Oh, you got it after a year. That's so awesome. Um, Orange Hat's got the Benchman Mini Osborne. G-Man W's got the Emerson CQC7. JJ's got the Atom today from Three Rivers Manufacturing. It's a nice one. Um, got the, ooh, Women Carry Knives got the Ferrum Forge Stinger. That's a cool knife. Um, Live Gaming 123's also got the Ozark Trail Multi-Tool. Definitely counts as a knife. Brian's carrying the Darth Biblio. Or Garth Biblio. Darth Biblio. And Kaiser Shard. Uh, Tristan's got the Tanu Umnazon and a 520. Can't go anything where without the Zon. Yep. George French got the Mini Grip. Kaiser Feast from Kevcam. Yeah, the coin from Blue Haze May was a pretty awesome. I, I know that Big Red likes it. Um, definitely check them out if you want to. I saw that when I was doing the the stream with them, and I was like, buddy, I gotta I gotta order one of those for my for my friend. Um B Dronish has Spider Code Dragonfly 2 and K390. Jade Schaefer, welcome. Got the Wii Mini Buster. Sue Chicken's got the Rough Rider Dogbone Jack. Ian Goodman, welcome, buddy. Remember Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Got the Spyderco ZDP 189 Man Bug. Um, the giveaway, Quentin, it is ending. The 7500 giveaway ends tomorrow, Monday, the 25th, 5 p.m. Pacific. So make sure to check it out. Get over there. Listen. See what you got to do to get signed up. Appreciate your support. Appreciate all the support because that's what's doing the giveaway. Your guys' support. So uh, Corey Lucas has a mini onslaught. G Man W has Emerson CQC7. In the left pocket, Sabenza 31 from Chris Wolf with the Macassar inlay for left hand. Ooh, wow, that's a nice one. Um, let's see here. Da -da -da. Chris Rainer's got the Mini Presidio 2 with the Sea of Elite. That's a great one. MH Extends got the 945. So many great carries indeed. Sue Chicken's got the Breath Rider Burlock. Um, let's see. Lavender Pants, welcome, buddy. He's got the Blacked Out Evo Typhoon. Learns has got the Griptilian. The bailout, nice. Luke says, Zach, have you tried any Noctagon flashlights? I have not, no. I'll have to try that out. Um, let's see here. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da -da. Even 36, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, ba -da -da. David Payne's got the Warning Protec from Malibu. That's an awesome knife. I'm trying to get one of those. We'll see. Uh, Caleb Asmar or Asmar has the Gerber suspension NXT. Nice one. Um, yeah, it was a cool coin. Definitely. There's the link right there to Instagram for blue haze may check out his coins. He's got lots of detail to him too. Uh, Frank Swope's got a $3 Walmart knife because that's all I have. Hey buddy, there you go. Maybe you'll win one today. You never know. Or win one tomorrow. Get in on the giveaways. You know, I love giving back to you guys. Some awesome, really, really happy that I can do. So uh, William has the new auto fact looks epic or no, it says the new auto fact looks epic. Should have it dressed up, but manual also. Yeah. If they had a manual version of that, that, that would sell so well because it's, it's definitely like a more of a, a nicer office carry. And I got hands on with it already and it's pretty slick. Um, it's got the, let's see, how do you, how do you rate it here? <clears throat> Basically this is the folding SOCP, but Basically, you just pull back on this, and the blade fires out. So it's an auto access lock. So there's, there's no extra button or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody's carry. I know we were going through pretty quick, and the comments were going through pretty cool. AF has the Para 3 Lightweight. Nice, nice. Yeah, great to see Lavender Pants, man. Great to see all you guys, but more people joining in, it's great. Um, Williams got the DLT exclusive Delica four. That's a cool one. Uh, big red says my 4k giveaway will post this week. Could win a knife there too. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Big red hit 4k just rolling it. Not trying to be greedy. Does the Zach crew do giveaways? So right now, um, the way the, the way the rules are for memberships, um, you're not able to do something that not everybody can get. Does that make sense? So we have to we have to play by the rules on that platform, kind of a thing. So 
that's why as an appreciation, I always definitely send out swag. We do some extra things. Now, the things that I can do is I can do some um, specific live streams for members. And so you'll see one of those coming up probably on Tuesday. It's just going to be a live stream for members. Um, and so if you're interested in that stuff, it's a great time to hang out. It's a more intimate group of people. Um, you know, it's pretty cool stuff. So I just have to be really careful with that because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want anybody else to get in trouble for stuff. So got to play by the rules of that. But the thing with the memberships is, is that everybody that's a member in a certain tier, and I only have one tier, that'll basically be, you have to, you know, do one for all kind of a thing um, for that tier. So um, I know I could do it through other things like Patreon and stuff like that, but I don't want to do a different platform. Um, it's just ease of use for me right now. So yeah, definitely congratulations to Big Red on 4K, man. He's up and coming, man. We'll be at 5K, no problem. Very, very soon. Um, let's see, I missed a couple up here that just got dropped in. One Minute Knife Reviews here. Welcome, welcome. He's got the UTX-70. Uh, I Love Knives is the ZT-0562. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you're, I'm going to miss a live. <laughs> well, that's the thing is it's just going to be for members. So I'm not going to do anything that would be too, uh, you know, too exclusive, but it'll be an exclusive opportunity for members to ask questions, interact, those kind of things. So those are things that I can do for the members. Um, and, and I'm not able to do a giveaway directly for them on that platform. So, uh, eggs and ham. No, I'm putting that together on Tuesday. So I'm going to give that a try on Tuesday and go from there. I did not have time. Uh, like I said, I had Friday off. I had to work yesterday, like a really long day yesterday at my other job. And, uh, that's one of those things that I chose to spend the day with a good friend of mine and it was well worth it. So, <laughs> so I'll put that into play on Tuesday to test it out and we'll see how it goes. So, but I appreciate you sending that over cause I'm, I'm checking that out and going to be using it. So yes. So that's another thing to bring up Sue chicken. So well, let's cover that real quick, and then we will go ahead and do the uh, giveaway after that. Now, as part of my time on Friday, visiting with Big Red, and we ended up meeting a very, very cool person named Alan, who works at Cabela's, and is a fellow member of the knife community. And I have to tell you, it was he's a 10, man. So Cabela's, if you're listening... That guy's a 10. Um, knows his knives, knows his products in the store. Took time to walk around with us, show us different things. So thanks, Ricky. I appreciate it. But the really cool part was my good buddy Big Red said, oh, you haven't seen these knives. I want to make sure that you check them out. So he brought me two really, really cool knives. And one is the Finch Cimarron in blue and green which are some good colors, Seattle-based colors, if you catch my drift. But this is the Cimarron, and it's in 14C28N. And it's been a cool one. Oh, yeah, there's a link right there. So Big Red just posted a link to it. This is a cool knife. They have different colors of it, but it's a smooth operator. It's very slim. It's got a very slicey blade. You know, a no hot spots. The G10 is a little slick, but it just works so well. You know, and I know a lot of you um, have picked one of these up, and it's good. Um, yes, but definitely, yes, Randy, definitely, right, yes. So this Cimarron is pretty cool. So Big Red, thank you for letting me check this out. You guys will see a review coming up on this, um, but it was very, very nice of him to do that. So really, really awesome. Now, you guys, I have to tell you this. He went ahead and let me borrow one of his babies. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll definitely pair really well with my barrage, Randy. He let me borrow, like, one of the coolest Finch knives I've seen. And this is the Holiday. So yes, your baby, definitely. So I appreciate him doing that. 
But I'll have to tell you what, guys. This action is incredible. Um, this knife is really, really cool. I'm going to do some house carry of this one because I don't want to carry it at work. But, yeah, and there's a link for the Finch Holiday right there. So I'm hoping these come back in stock. I think this is the Oxbone handle version. And it's just got that beautiful contrast on the scales. Kind of that, uh, you know. And, and I have to tell you what, the Finches have that, like, incredible ease of use of the lock. And their, and their mechanism. And it's just smooth. So you don't get anything that's gritty. You know, it's just a beautiful knife. Yes, very gentlemanly. Very, very cool story. So, Big Red, thank you so much for letting me check this one out. This is it's an amazing knife. So I'm putting that one on my list that I can hopefully pick up in the next couple months. So, yeah, so that's good. Um, I do have to give a big... A big heartfelt, I guess, just basically let you know that, you know, a member of our community is going through some stuff. Um, Jason Brown, you see him here all the time. He's taking some time to be with his family. And I just have to say that we're here for you, buddy. We love you. I hope you're back in action soon. Um, but yeah, I just have to give a little shout out to him. He's had some rough times going on with his family. A lot of you know what's happening. Um, he jumped onto my live the other day, a live premiere I had this last week and kind of told everybody what's going on and that he's just going to be stepping out for a little bit, but we love Jason. We hope he's back soon and we're here for him. So let's see here. Um, let's see. Did I miss any questions? <laughs> Hollywood says, am I allowed to pump my product on here? Depends on what your product is. <laughs> Uh, let me know what your product is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see here. So, yes, definitely we all got to give some love and some wishes and prayers to Jason and his family. There's a lot of people going through stuff, but we definitely we just want to, you know, we're a community. So, we got to, you know, keep the prayers up for people and, you know, the best wishes and everything to them when we see stuff going on. So, um, let's see here. <laughs> I'll show the comment. It, it flagged it to be shown. But Hollywood Tactical has got a new video coming up for an ugly Christmas sweater. So you can read his comment. You can check check it out. Um, sounds very interesting. So I'll check that one out. Um, let's see here. Now, I did want to show two things real quick. And it's going to be some quick unboxings right before we do the giveaway. And... I hope you guys are okay with that because these are things that have been sent in from people here in our community. Obviously it's been sitting here for a little while. I apologize for the delay, but I want to make sure that I took some time to really share it with you guys when we had a live stream going and say thank you. So, um, as in the past, uh, people like, Oh, I'm, not, I'm probably going to miss people, but, you know, the ones that really stick out, like um, David Lindsay sent some stuff in, Rodney Pearson sent some stuff in, uh, Ryan Pearson, Big Red, tons of people sending stuff in just as a thank you, you know, um, Penny and them sending, sending Christmas cards and stuff like that stuff I really appreciate. Um, but I do have to get my channel unboxing knife, so please stand by for that. Um, let's see here. What's up, Mikey? Yeah, welcome back. And let's see here. Taz is here. What's up, Taz? Welcome, welcome. So this is a package sent in by our good friend Randy, and Randy's here today. So I want to open this up. I don't know what's inside, so I got to be very careful opening it up. Let me see if I can get one of the other corners here. So Randy, hopefully it's okay. I'm opening this up on here. All right. Definitely well protected in the package. Took some time to do this. I just want to say thank you. Yeah, it's a great community. Yeah, you're welcome, Ricky. It's awesome. 
Got to be really careful here. <laughs> we'll put the box channel unboxing knife out there. It's the Benchmade Tengu tool. Experience precision. Cheers. Let me open this up here. Try not to damage this because it's got a return address and I want to definitely send something back there. You know what I mean? Do I have the 940-1702 from REI? Yes, I do. Which is this one. And I highly recommend this one if you love the green G10 and purple barrel spacers. This knife will last you for a long time. It's an S30V. Fantastic. Is Randy on here? Did Randy take off? I hope Randy's still here. We're opening this up. Oh, he's got a note with it too. I've seen it. Um, I have one. I've arranged to have one sent out. Oh, what is this? Rise and shine. Matthew 5, 16. Life is like a coin. Spend it wisely. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put that on my coin board. Oh, yeah, Randy's here. Thanks, buddy. Hopefully, it's okay I'm opening this on here. I'll read the note off to the side first because I don't want to do anything crazy. Oh, it's for my new display. Oh, thanks, Randy. So, basically, Randy said, here's a coin for your new display. Hope you like it. Um... He said, you, JB, and JT are so thoughtful of others, doing things for the community, everything we do. Randy. Man, thanks, buddy. That's so awesome. Um, so you guys will see a video this week of the knife coin holder that um, Big Red had made for me. It's a custom one. Oh, my gosh. That blew me away, you guys. I honestly. And people have sent some coins in. This one's pretty awesome. So thank you so much. Let's give a little shout-out to Randy. Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. I'm, yeah. I mean, the the things that people do are just, it it just warms my heart, you know? So I appreciate that. I do not have a Kershaw Black Horse. No, I do not. Um, let's see here. Oh, Knives Fast is still here, just, just driving. Okay, cool. And then one other thing that got sent in, I wanted to cover. Um, this one's a little bit bigger of a package, so hold on a second. But there's some history behind this one. I'm trying to remember. I'm probably going to get this totally wrong. As to what the, the origin of this is. But. Let's get it going. It's basically. Wrapped up very nicely inside of a package. And I think this is a. So this is from our friend. We know, we know our friend, and he's from, let's see if it has where he's from. He's from Canada. It's our buddy, Stuart. So, Stuart, if you're on here, if you're listening, thank you so much. Give a little shout-out to Stuart as well here in a minute. Let's see. He says, my favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29.11. That was so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So, Stuart sent something in. And there's there's a story behind this one, so I'm gonna do something I'm gonna do something and, and include this in the next video um, of unboxings, just because the, there's some definite definite meaning behind this one from Stuart, and I don't want to mess it up, so I will have to get this one. But this is I think one of the knives from their military stuff, because it's a Groman knife. It's beautiful. So let's see what we got here. It's got a nice tether lanyard on it. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Number three, stainless, nice wood handle. Ooh, it's got some jimping on top. Man, that, that feels good. It's a number three army, yeah. So I think this is from their army, their Canadian belt knife. Okay, yeah, and I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to do a, a separate video on this 
just to make sure I get it right because he, he emailed me a story behind it. But I wanted to open it up on the live and show you guys and just let you know how awesome this is. People are sending stuff in. So I'm going to have to give this one a whirl. I mean, it's got a nice edge too. But the contouring on that, I don't know if you guys can see that contouring, how it kind of sweeps up. So when you got it in the handle, it kind of, you know, when you're or in your hand, it kind of sweeps up. So you got the blade. That's a good, good knife. Yeah. Thank you so much, Stuart. That's awesome. So long overdue. I know that took a one, that one took a while to get through the, the border crossing. Finally made it. And, uh, it's been here for a little bit and I wanted to make sure I did an unboxing on a live because I really appreciate that. So I'm going to put these off to the side, man, even smells good, man. That leather can't beat it. And I like the, I like the, uh, stud kind of that brass stud that it has for the pouch secure it so you don't have a snap or anything so it's nice and quiet that's awesome um let's see here let's see did i miss something at all i know you guys have been chatting but that's good okay so oh uh, what's next how about a giveaway next? How about a giveaway? Let's put this coin up here. Put this one away. I brought quite a few knives out. I'm surprised you guys didn't ask to see any more Benchmade knives today, but maybe we'll do that after the giveaway. Oh, I gotta put this one right here. Yeah, buddy, Lorenzo. It's go time. So that's the channel unboxing knife right now. Love it. Very, very sharp. Jake says, hit the like button. Heck yeah, man. So we got 92 of you watching. So let's go ahead and get a piece of paper here. One that'll fold up easily. Maybe we'll use a post-it note. Let's get a pen here. Get a pen. Now, like I said, I got some big red swag, so I hope you guys are okay with getting some big red swag. You're getting a Benchmade, or not Benchmade. You're getting a Zach Stuff patch, PVC with Velcro. Also, my um, my DSKFS patches are being produced right now. I'm really hoping to get them within the next week. That'll be awesome. I had to. I had a like I told you, I had a little bit of difference going between blues. So I, I picked a blue that should be pretty good to contrast with the black background. So, hey, Oregon Knife Guys here. What's up? You're going to get some Zach Stuff swag, the new holographic DSKFS sticker, which is incredible. I'll put in the big red swag in there as well. And what else do we have today? Now, your guys' support's been amazing. It's been seriously fantastic. Uh, making some decisions on putting more time into the channel, spending more time with family. Oh, Peter, you're leaving? The Therapeutic Edge is out? All right, buddy. Good to see you. Hope you feel better, my friend. We will be talking shortly. I got to send some swag down to them, too. I can't remember if I... I think I sent them the swag stuff already. But if not, I'll send some more. So, since you guys have just been amazingly awesome and amazingly supportive of the community, of each other, helping everybody out. I did that 7,500 giveaway and I went big. I was kind of saving some of that for the 10,000. But then last week we had an awesome live. Last night we had an awesome live stream on Big Red's channel. So I'm pretty pumped up today. So it's like, man, what can I do to just give a little bit more back? Um, last week we gave away an awesome knife, the, uh, Civivi, oh, I always forget the name of that one. The, uh, Fracture, I think is what it was. And this week, um, what can we do to be awesome? 
<laughs> Excuse me. I need to drink some more water here. Okay. What should we do? Let's go. I mean, we had a couple of people send stuff in. We had a great day with Big Red on Friday. KJ, you're out of, out of control, buddy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's do something like... Now, the Civivi came in a white box, right? That's theirs. <laughs> Jazz says sing a song. Yeah. Um, let's do something in a blue box. How about that? How about a blue box? Why not, right? Okay. So we know what's in a blue box, what awesomeness can come in a blue box. So let's pull out and give away something that's brand new for 2021 from Benchmade's offering. It's a new variant of their mini bug out. Let's give away a 535 BK-2. Let's do that. Let's give away one of those. Why not, right? Why don't we give one of those away? Why not? You know, we're going big. We want to have fun. We got to get some awesome knives in people's hands. So let's give away a mini bug out, all blacked out version, S30V, mini deep carry, black barrel spacers, black hardware, black coated blade. Let's do that today for today's giveaway. I think that's pretty cool. So Mad Hatter's here. Welcome, welcome. OSK is here. 915 Knife is here. Jake Rogers here. Yeah, buddy. Lisa, welcome back. Yeah, you made it back just in time. So there's the link right there. That's the 535 BK-2 mini bug out. Um, and the here's the reason. Now this one, this comes, I have to tell you, this comes out of my personal collection. So I had the, the, the support from you guys. I put that into my 7,500 subscriber giveaway that I'm doing tomorrow. 5 p.m. it ends. Make sure to check it out. But this one comes out of my personal collection because... I picked up one of these, right, on the day it got released, but it's really hard. I know it's it's incredible to think about this, but it's it's really hard for me to get a first production. It's just how things go right now. Things will change, but the first productions go out to all the knife dealers. So I got a hold of our good buddy, Chad, Southern Edge Knife Works, and he says, hey, I just got my shipment in. You can buy one from me. So... Use my discount code, Zach15. <laughs> got my 15% off. Got a mini bug out shipped to me. So I got a first production one that I bought. And so I said, well, the one I bought, let's give that away today. Let's have fun with it. Brand new, ready to go. Uh, there's about 100 people watching. So let's say here, doo -doo -doo -doo, <laughs> down to $2.99. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see here. Let's do, we're going to do... Now, you, here's the here's the first thing. You got to wait for an official start from Big Red on the screen. So don't do any guessing until you see that. But we're going to guess a number. And it's going to be between 500 and 650. So it'll be one number that you'll guess between that. But wait till you see an official start from Big Red. So we'll put the number here. And we're going to do closest without going over. Let me put the number off to the side of the screen here. Yeah, less build warning. It's beautiful. And let's see here. We're going to choose a number of... Huh? You thought I was going to tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, right now... We're going to go and fold this piece of paper up and it'll be closest without going over. And if we have two people that guess it, three people that guess it right, whatever it is, we'll have a second round with those people that guess it correctly or are the closest. So the paper's underneath here. Let me make sure it's secure. That You know, this, this is only like 1.5 ounces, so... I just want to make sure the paper doesn't flip the knife over. Um, yeah, so as soon as you see, you can start guessing. This is for the mini bug out swag pack from myself. Got some swag from Big Red. One guess only, closest without going over. There's some guesses. 
I love seeing all the guesses. One number between 500 and 650. We are rolling through. I'm trying to get as many as I can on my side. I know Big Red is also. This is fun. You guys, honestly, this is the funnest part of the live stream for me and my channel is to chat with you guys, interact, and really be able to just, you know, give away, give away stuff, give back. So it's pretty awesome. And you guys have been awesome sending some stuff to me. Um, so yeah, that's all I can do is say thank you. And I was pretty pumped to get this one. And I'm like, man, you know what? Let's give this little one away. It's a brand new one for 2021. It's cool that it's all black. It's got the, the funness going on. It's the mini version. Let's see if I have the full size one here. I think I put the full size one away. So we got a lot of good guesses going on. Yeah, you guys are welcome for the opportunity, man. Only one guess, one guess only. So I see some people, uh, Chicago 23, um, only one guess, buddy. So you're going to have to go back and we're only going to be able to take your first one. So we will do some updating. Thanks, Big Red. <laughs> but yeah, Chicago 23, only one guess, buddy. So no more guessing. I guess maybe that's how they do in Chicago. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. You know, and uh, it could have been something we could have uh, done a little more announcing with at the beginning. So thanks, Big Red, for helping out. Let me scroll back and just see how close people have been so far. Give you guys an idea of what we're doing. I'm going to throw it out there and say that nobody's guessed it, but let me see. Okay, okay. I see some close ones. I don't see anybody that's guessed it right on, though. Not yet. I'm still scrolling. So we'll wrap it up here in just a minute, another minute. We'll give it another minute before we uh, shut down the the guessing. Once everybody has their one guess submitted, we'll definitely go back through and make sure they all have them. Yeah, Frank, make sure to send me an email, buddy. I know you gave me a thumbs up earlier. So, hey, you're welcome, Chris. Definitely. that going with that how are you doing no mojo yeah so this is a, a very nice gift that came in from randy f it's a very very nice coin rise and shine life is like a coin spend it wisely it's got a beautiful verse on there matthew five sixteen. very very cool so thank you very much Okay, let's see here. What's up, Grateful Panic? Yeah, if you want to get a guess in, Grateful Panic, we're doing a one guess only between 500 and 650. Um, the giveaway is the Benchmade 535BK-2. Or no, not 535 bk 2 This is the mini, you guys, the 533. Sorry, I should have said that. It's a 533. <laughs> My bad. It's the 533. You guys got that, right? It's the mini. It's the new mini for 2021. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you, uh, Luke says he's got the full-size CF Elite, modded it with some tie scales and purple hardware. Ooh, that sounds nice. Thanks, Randy. No, that's awesome, man. That's going to go great on there. I have a, 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 you know, I have a small amount of coins I'm going to put on there and that video is pretty awesome. So, and the even more awesome is the coin holder itself. So, 
<laughs> one minute. Yeah, hey, I showed it off. It's on there. I got what you're saying. It's a tarp. <laughs> Let your light shine before men. Rise and shine. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, Freddie. This is a 533. This is a Benjamin 533. Let me get the official box here. Hold on. This is a 533 dash 2. So I transposed that other one. So hopefully that's good. Well, Ricky, thank you. I don't know about Smartest, but we try to do just give back every week and as we move along and give right back to the community. So, yeah, it was a 533 dash 2. It's the newest one that just came out this month as part of Benchmade's new knife, knife uh, selection for 2021. Okay, so I think we'll wrap it up. Uh, as soon as you see some stop signs on there, hopefully Grateful Panic, you got your guess in. Okay, he said he got one in, so awesome. Yeah, the coin from Blue, Blue, Haze, Blue Haze May is awesome. So let's see what we have. We got the stop signs up there from Big Red. Again, this is the 533-2, <laughs> BK-2. Um, let's see here. So we had a guess. Oh, Keith got some stop signs up there too. Thanks, buddy. So the number to be either moved on or win is the five, nine, six. So if we're going to go back through, we're going to see who has five ninety six. I saw somebody that was really, really close. Now remember this is closest without going over. So we have, let's see here. We had, where did I see it? I see Paper Tiger with 593. I think that's going to be the closest one so far. I see a 592 from Chris, but Paper Tiger is one up from that. So with that, man, a couple that were just over too. Ian Goodman had a close one. It was like just one over. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, let's see here. So 596, we're looking for something. We got 593 from Paper Tiger. No, Jade was so close too, man. Oh, man. Do, do, do. Mikey had 600. Yeah, so I'm seeing, I don't know. I mean, Big Red, what do you think? 593 Paper Tiger also? Okay. Paper Tiger has it. Paper Tiger, make sure to reach out to me. Give me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. We will get this out to you. The 533 BK-2. It's a pretty awesome one. Little swag pack, some cool stickers, got a little patch there for you. Be rolling. Yeah, Paper Tiger had 593, so that was the closest one in there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome, man. So we have, yeah, Rennie, if you want to add a prize, just get in, get in touch with me so we can plan it ahead of time. Definitely. Cause I got another live that I'm going to do on Tuesday. So we can always throw something into that one. Definitely. Definitely. So any other questions, any other, well, big red, thanks buddy, man, big reds helping me out with all the support. Show me a little love. And I'm my number one fan. I don't know, man. I heard, I heard somebody else before say they were my number one fan. So I don't want to mess with her because she kind of rules the house there, you know? Thanks, Ricky. I appreciate that. Yeah, the, the community is awesome. It's great. Um, you know, you got people stepping up even to help each other out. You know, people throwing in extra things like Rennie and stuff. Oh, Big Red says don't listen to her. Okay, I won't. Hey, Deborah's here. What's up, Deborah? 
Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Um, this week on the channel, you're going to see things coming up. You're going to see a review of that beautiful wood American flag holder. Oh, Rodney, thanks, buddy. Oh, Rodney, thanks so much, man. Let's give a little shout-out to, to Big Red and to Rodney. Thank you guys so much for your support. That's super nice of you guys. Yeah, that's super nice. Um, yeah, so you're going to see things coming up. You're going to see that beautiful American flag with the awesome Benchmade logo in it. Oh, JJ, thanks, buddy. A little shout-out to JJ. Thank you very much. The support's awesome. That all goes into my giveaways. Oh, Ian, thanks, buddy. Um, definitely, definitely helps, you know, me do these giveaways for you guys. So thank you guys. And it helps with shipping. So yeah, exactly, KJ. <laughs> she loaned me the holiday ox bone. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, and so I saw another question in here. It said, uh, oh, you're welcome, Frank. Definitely. Yeah, um, Tuesday, the live, um, the time will be posted like Monday night or Tuesday morning. I'm working on the time right now for that. We'll get that sorted out. Um, but I'm going to do a live on the channel. I'm also going to do a member live that day and we'll go from there. So yeah, so I have an Instagram ready. It's uh, Zach's underscore stuff. That's my Instagram. Thank you guys very much. Uh, Marvel or DC? Ooh, Taz. Taz, good question, buddy. Member of Zach's Daily Care Crew. Oh, man. DC is close. You know, DC is like a local company to me. You know, they're here in my metro area. So I would have to go with DC just for some local love. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. DC probably. <laughs> and I know that's, that's, you get some controversy going right there, but yeah, you're welcome, Sue Chicken. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's in my description. I try to put that stuff in there, the Instagram, my email, those kind of things. You know, if you ever want to send me some stuff, um, you know, if you got an extra coin lay around or something like that or whatever, um, my, my PO box is in there as well. Thanks, One Minute Knife Reviews. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys have a good night too. Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. And I think so. Some of the other stuff you'll see this week is you'll have um, this Neutron True Review. Uh, Neutron 2, not Neutron Chew. Neutron 2. Um, this will be up on the channel for review. Um, we'll be comparing it with few knives as well as the Atom that I have. That'll be a good one. Oh, thanks, Keith. Oh, I appreciate the support, Keith. Yeah, see you over at Bru Bruising Blades here soon on old Slicey's channel. Definitely, definitely. Uh, check out Slicey and I, OCD for EDC later tonight. But yeah, um, Sheep's Foot Griptilian. Uh, I think I saw that come up. Ethan says, can you show off Sheep's Foot Griptilian 20 CV? I will do that on my Tuesday live. It's in the other room. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd do that. How about Olight coin? Dude, Olight coins are cool. I didn't know they made a coin. That's cool. All right, nice, fast, get some dinner, man. Oh, your son's nice, right on. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta deliver something over to, to my dad today. So, somebody's looking for a hoback sumo, sumo. Slicey's live stream. I believe he's doing it at five p.m. Pacific, so eight p.m. Central. I believe. Keith might be able to help us out a little bit better. I thought that's what he went back to. I think he went back to the 5 p.m. or 8 Eastern. I think he went back to that time. Yeah, 8 Eastern. Yep, that's right. It's normally 5 p.m. my time. So gives me just enough to like get a little bit of lunch in. Thanks for you guys being here. Definitely later too. I know I had to put off the time today. I had to do some shopping as well as the weather was pending. We had some snow and things like that in the area. So if we did get snow, I'm on, you know, I'm on one of the teams that comes in and helps out with um, snow and stuff like that for work. So, oh, very cool, Randy. Dude, I love hockey, man. I love hockey. Got some hockey in there too. All right, Quentin, take care. Hey, Knife Sergeant's here. What's up, buddy? 
There you go. He's got a sumo. You guys should talk offline, definitely. Should drop him your uh, email or something in the comments. We should be able to approve that. Rodney, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. We're going to go ahead and get things ready for the, um, the live on Tuesday. We also have, don't forget the giveaway tomorrow on Monday night. We're going to be doing that. I'm probably going to go ahead and do that live if I can uh, tomorrow night. Just so that way it's fair. Everybody can see that I'm selecting people live. Oh, you got a lot of snow up there, Penny? Nice. I'm, I'm waiting for a big snow. I hope we get one. Uh, I think that'll be really cool to just get a little bit of snow. I know it's a little bit difficult on people, but a lot of people working from home right now. So hopefully, yes, we can. So get some of that going. Um, yeah, so okay. Um, you guys have an awesome... <laughs> Big Red says no snow. He's not a fan of the snow, but... We'll, do, we'll, we'll take it here in Oregon. Maybe not so much in Washington where he's at, but we'll take it here in Oregon for a couple days. Not a long time though. So thank you, Richard. Thank you, Grateful Panic, Big Red, Chris Wolf, Kiefer, Penny, Mikey Rass, Rodney, all the members of Zach's Day, the Carrier Crew that are here, Mikey, Taz's World, Ethan Ruins EDC, Ian Goodman. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully there's more of you guys still here. I just haven't seen your comments. Deborah's here. That's right. Thank you to all who have, you know, supported the channel today on the super chat. That definitely goes to help with getting this stuff shipped out to the winners, getting things for the next giveaway ready. You guys are awesome. Um, hopefully you guys jump in for tomorrow night's live when we do the giveaway for the winners of the 7,500 subscriber giveaway. Um, oh, Evil Lee, Thanks, buddy. That is awesome. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Chatting with you guys a little bit. We'll do some more giveaways tomorrow. It'll be some awesome giveaways. Hopefully one of you guys will win or multiple of you guys you win that are on there live with me. That'll be even more fun. But yes, Richard, thank you so much. Ricky, Chris Wolf, all you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure to do something kind for someone. Seriously, it means a lot, especially nowadays. So uh, tomorrow night, we're probably aiming for somewhere around 8 p.m. Pacific. Um, you know, I have to work tomorrow, so I just want to make sure I have enough time to get home, get things set up, get things ready. Yes, be kind, please rewind. That's back in the day there, a little throwback there. So Taz, if you go to my channel, um, scroll, just click on my videos. It'll basically be in there for um, the 7,500 subscriber giveaway. You'll see it. And if you still don't can't find it, just send me an email. I'll send you the link. But yes, um, or just type it in the search. Um, Zach Stuff 7,500 giveaway or GAW either way. But CK, yes, big shout out to CK and Lorenzo as well. You guys are in here. Thank you guys for your support. Have an awesome rest of your day. Do something kind for someone. Most importantly, take care.